So hello everybody and welcome to your next uh, C Sharp XNA platformer tutorial. So in the next few videos we're going to be learning on how to generate enemies. Now I did this ahead of time. So I just wanted to show you um, what we're planning to do. So when we hit the enemy, our player turns red just to show that we collided. And the top left corner you can see like uh, something going down. That's just our health going down. Okay, so that's what's going to be happening within the next few tutorials. So what we need to do is create a new class called Entity Manager. I already created it. And uh, we want to have these two th um, these things. So a list of entities, a, uh, um, a double list of strings for attributes and contents. And one thing you might want to do uh, with one thing you might want to do with your own code is that you might want to in the file manager have uh, uh, attributes and contents in the file manager and have get properties get and set properties for them and then instead of having to create a new attribute and a content for each class that uses the file manager we can just get it from the file manager itself it's up to you if you guys want to do that I might implement it later on so we want to make a file manager instance as well uh, so that's all we're going to do for now. Now we want to go to the entity class and what we want to do <coughs> is make a list of strings call this attributes make a list of strings call this contents okay not a double list um just a single um a single dimension of list okay and what we're going to do is when we go to our player class uh, this stuff right here, we are gonna cut this. Just cut that right here. And you can get rid of this. And we're gonna put a for loop. So into ISS and attributes dot count. And just put that in there. And get rid of the J. So everything that has J in it, just get rid of that. Um, the best overload and match. I'm not sure what's going on there, but we'll check that later. Uh, for temp frames, for our frames, we just have to do right here. Just put move animation dot frames, and just put that there. And I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh, this is should be contents. Sorry. So uh, change this, and everything's fine. And we want to add in something new, and we want to just add in move speed. So we'll say move speed is equal to float parse contents i, and add in a break. So in our player .cme, we could just add in uh, move speed and we're going to add in f frames as well so we'll say 3 by 4 and we'll say 100 now we need to go back to <laughs> our entity class and for the frames uh, since I put a comma beside it, I'm going to put a comma there and I'm going to put a comma there as well so I'm going to separate the position and the frames by a comma it's up to you how you want to separate it, but that's how I'm going to separate it, okay? Uh, so we got that entity class done now. Since uh, this is uh, the, we've changed the load content, then we got to change it in our player class. So I'll just erase this, override void, load content. So we can get rid of this right here. And we have like we have that like so. So we don't we want to go back to our entity class. We don't need a file manager anymore. So where's this file manager at? So we can get rid of the file manager. And just let me fit this a little better. Okay. So we can get rid of the file manager. Uh the move animation, we can get rid of this. The move speed. Uh, we can get rid of all this stuff right here and uh, we can 
get rid of this and we're gonna add all this stuff to the entity class so to entity dot load con entity load content okay so we'll just add this right here okay so um that's that's essentially how it's gonna work so the enemy class has to be the same thing so um let's just get rid of this and that's the way we got it okay so we got those stuff set up so now we got to set up the enemy manager class so we're gonna have a load content method and uh that's gonna consist of five parameters so we're gonna have a string entity type we have our content manager and we need to include this stuff right here so the framework content graphics so we have the we need a file name we need an identifier and last but not least we need the input manager okay uh, so everything is cool so now we gotta uh, say entity is equal to new entity uh, attributes contents file manager and now we're gonna say if identifier uh, is not equal to, or is equal to string dot empty then we're gonna call file manager dot load content uh, the file name the attributes and the contents else we're gonna call file manager load content file name attributes contents and the identifier okay <laughs> and now we're gonna loop through all our attributes like we always do and just let me check the time okay um and there's a problem with our naming scheme So that should be file name okay okay so, so now we're gonna go over to our menu manager class <laughs> and we're gonna go down to where uh, we had it right here when, when they press the enter key or something to go to a new screen so we're gonna just copy that right now and let's go to enemy manager okay so we're gonna we no we don't need two we only need one for a loop so we're just gonna paste that right there and it's gonna be xna platformer plus the entity type and uh the new screen instead of doing this we're gonna say we're gonna put entities dot add and it's going to be instead of a game screen instance it's going to be an entity instance and we can get rid of this okay so we do that and then we'll call entities i dot load content so we'll pass in the content uh we'll pass in attributes i pass in contents i and pass in the input okay and <coughs> sorry so we're gonna make an input manager up here <coughs> sorry and we're gonna just say input this input is equal to input and which we'll put in this input Okay, so now that we've got the load content done, we're going to do the unload content. And I'll explain. You'll understand how the load content works 
um, when it, when we actually get around to that part. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna loop through all our entities, and we're gonna call entities i dot unload content. We're going to put update. And we'll say for, we're gonna loop through all of these. We'll call entities i.update, put in the input. And we also need to take in the map. So map, map.collision, map.layer. And I'm not even sure if we're gonna actually need the map because we're not even gonna be using the collision or anything. But for now, let's keep it. And if anything else, we can just remove it after, right? And last but not least, we have the draw. And we'll call entities I dot draw. Simple enough, okay? And I think that my time is up. So we're just gonna end it here. And uh, we will continue where we left off in the next tutorial. So sorry if this was kind of vague, if you didn't really learn much, but just trust me, follow the code. And when I explain in the next tutorial, it will all make sense. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and bye.